there's number one cylinder. It doesn't look too terribly bad. You can definitely tell it's got some some carbon buildup where it definitely definitely had some heat to it. But uh, overall, it's uh, the head's in nice shape. I really hadn't found too much. It's it's not in good shape. Looks like somebody just lost an injector and just had them a bad day. You can't see nothing there, but here's the here's the big one. There's the uh, the damage there. Uh, too terribly bad at all. It's like just number one cylinder just got a little warm there. All the rest of them cross hatching looks pretty nice. The rest of the pistons look nice. I mean overall for this project it's quite nice. Now I get me another adapter plate which is uh, pretty sure is a G56 adapter plate which correct me if I'm wrong should go for my 48 RE as well. So I mean nice core CP3 if anybody needs a Core 67 CP3, I will be pulling it off here shortly. But uh motor rolls over, I mean just beautiful, so I mean just very pretty much effortlessly. Get number one down at the bottom and uh grab a flashlight now we got a flashlight kind of kind of go into number one and you know how good y'all can see it but it's it's uh definitely got some scarring going on in there nowhere near as bad i've seen much much worse i mean they pretty much not really sure what their thinking was behind it, but uh, really isn't bad at all. I mean, this piston, you can see the... Looks to me like they were getting a little bit out of the bowl with their injectors, so I'm not 100% sure what I've got going on there. But, uh, another piston kind of shows that as well. Number two and number four both show it. Well, show injectors. I think they just had mainly a lot of injector problems. You know, you get company vehicles. They just don't really care at all and just just throw whatever diesel in there. But overall, it's going to be a little sneak peek of what we got coming up here going on in the shop. It's going to be a fun project. I've already Great got team. rid of a bunch of junk that was over here, but uh motor was pretty much pretty much a fully dressed motor when I picked it up. Valve cover. Uh, they kept the ECM. I got the back plate. Injector harness, which hopefully I can clean up and use on another project. I mean another nice rocker box, which always comes in handy. Bunch of junk I still need to get rid of. Coolant lines, fuel filter housing. Uh plate uh intake plate which probably just gonna get rid of it got me an extra whole set of rockers push rods uh pretty much all the all the good stuff and they gave me injectors with it too which i'm quite surprised at uh i've got nice nice injectors there one of them looked like they tried to replace it uh let's see if i can find it looks like they had tried to replace it you can kind of see, I mean, that, that O-ring just doesn't look like it's been used very long. Injector looks like it's definitely had compression, but doesn't look like a whole lot. It's a, it's a pretty clean nozzle compared to the rest of them. You got a couple of them in here. This one, for example, just it looks like it's been in there a long, long time. Probably factory injectors, but... Uh, Hell, they even had steel. They still had crossover tubes in there. Just a good find on my part. Took me a little while, but overall, satisfied with what we got here.